Hello and welcome back to Tharig Place More Time, City of the Damned. Let's take a quick look at our warband. If you are very perceptive, you have already noticed that I've already spent some more money. So let's take a quick look on what we spent that. And it's just another round of skills for basically everyone. So with Kete, we're at the moment learning Devotion. She's had a lot of hiccups with Divine Wrath in these last few episodes, so I think it's a good idea to lower the chance of triggering that. Then we've got Seraphim, who at the moment is learning Prayer of Swiftness. Uh, once we engage with her, we usually have the points over, and I think increasing her dodge chance is a good idea uh, anyways, no matter what we do. And we need to find some useful offensive skills for her, and I think the prayer is a good start for that. These are all injured. Then we've got Tanisa, who is also learning the prayer of swiftness. Um, it goes hand in hand with sidestep, basically, so we can first prayer and then sidestep. Once we're in combat, we have exactly six strategy points to do so. So I think that's a good idea. And then we've got Vilda, who is learning Knowledge More Time to increase her movement range by one meter. Because she's in heavy armor, she's slower, and I thought it would be a good idea to get her that skill to increase her movement a little bit again. And then we've got Eva, who is learning Demoralize at the moment, just so that we have some nice coverage of that. Ludmilla should still be learning Eagle Eyes, or mastering Eagle Eyes. And Matilda is at the moment going for Demoralize as well. I wanted to... I actually wanted to give her Born Leader, uh, which would make her... which would rank her up to a leader. But her leadership is not high enough yet, so we need to take her out again in, in a while, get her some more points in mental so that we can get the leadership up to 12 and allow her to level up to be the leader we want her to be. Uh, but first off, I want um, Petra up and running a little bit more and maybe get another level on Keta just to be on the safe side. So what we need to do right now is advance three days and then keep going i know i said that i wanted to just advance two days but with the skill selection New i made it somehow it, it just worked out better that way to go for to not limit myself to two days but take the extra one we might maybe take a look now and see so we could switch out narondia for frauke but that's basically it. We could leave out Vilda and we could switch out Kete for Cheerwell, who we still have around for occasions like this. But if we don't need to, we might we might as well go for one more day, I think. It should be fine. We still have seven day, days left for our shipment and we're almost there. And there's our new mission request from, from Bertha, so our, we can see what our next story mission is. A new is mission be. Is it should available. be which with a rating of 2,400, Act 2-2. Two, two. So since being returned from the rock, the high You know what, let's... You can read that. Uh, pausing, I will do so myself once I finish recording. But I don't want to slow things down too much right now, so... Yeah, let's just do that um, in the meantime. And let's see... So this is our next story mission. A great champion of Sigmar has fallen victim to the Dark Gods. His body and effects must be recovered. Okay, and we won't do that today. And not with that Warband rating. We need to level up a lot more, I think, before I feel comfortable doing that one. So let's send one scout and see what we can find. You know what, I think, I think a hard one with good wordstone is not bad. The setup could be a problem, but even if we get caught exploring buildings, it usually ends up being fine. 
So let's go for this one. <clears throat> this one would be better for the deployment, but it's crush their will, which is really hard, and considering the setup, it's even worse. And I don't really want to do a deadly one at the moment. So yeah, let's let's do this good this hard one. And we'll be right back with the deployment. You know what? I'm back because what I actually would like to do here because we can and I did learn the skill. Or you know what? No, nope, I I'm no I don't know. So do we want to take Seraphim or do we want to take Luke Miller? Both are very good choices for us. And both are more ranged oriented. I would take both, but that would mean leaving Petra at home. And we want to bring Abrienda, I guess. You know what? Let's 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 switch things up completely. I'm a bit worried about that, but we need to do that in the end anyway. So we will leave Abrienda for a mission. And instead, bring Matilda and Luke Miller. That means having two rank four uh, heroes with us. And let's go back real quick. Maybe we can give Matilda a few better items. I assume we can. The clothing of agility is a big start here. And maybe some better weapons. We can definitely go for... We can definitely go for enchanted ones. Um, yeah, why? Yeah, let's take the hammer of perseverance. That seems fine. Okay, so we'll do this. I'm of course a bit nervous about this, but it's only a hard mission, so I hope we will be fine. And we have both Seraphim and Ludmilla who can deal a lot of damage, so I think we should be fine. Is it still a hard mission? Yes, it is. Okay. So, now we'll be right back with deployment. And here we are. We are playing against Skaven, and we get to set up around our wagon while we find them in the buildings. And I am going to close the combat lock right now because I think it doesn't add as much as I hoped it would. At least I, I don't really think it matters too much. So they are they are caught exploring buildings, so probably this one and this one, I assume. The wordstone is all right there. That should be interesting. And we will be on top of each other right away. And let's keep Matilda... Well, actually, her initiative is pretty good, so we might as well put her not all the way in the back. Let's put her in the middle right here. We'll see. Okay, Luke Miller is perfectly fine over there. Then we've got Vilda, who I would like to go over there. Oh, I forgot to switch out um, Frauke, or put Frauke in. Uh, so we are, uh, we are at four novices again. It's probably not too big of a deal, but having another um, henchman that can take a bigger beating would have been nice, so I forgot that. I, I need to remember that for after the mission. So on the upside, no Red Ogre. Might also be a downside, considering that they usually get stuck, or get stuck a lot of the time. So we'll, we'll see. And maybe we can steal their idol, but it looks like... I don't know if it's... Okay, it looks like it's out. The card is outside and it's not inside. Sometimes you get, just get the chest when exploring buildings, and the chest is inside a building as well, I think. Uh, but from the looks of the map, it looks like it's on the outside, so we might be able to steal their idol and reduce their... and reduce their... 
morale that way a little bit. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's a lot of word stone. So do I actually want to be all the way out there yet? We did gain vision of a henchman there. So I'm not certain. Let's you know what, let's set up an ambush right here. Um that should be okay, I think. Not too aggressive. And we can create a bottleneck if one of them comes from over there. We can limit access. So I like that. But they are very fast and most of them are faster than us so we need to be pretty careful with how we um, approach here but that word stone is pretty alluring <laughs> and ideally we should try to get the optional objective of course to get as much experience for uh, Matilda and f uh, and Cheerwell and everyone else. So they're all right there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which also means I shouldn't go like this. Much rather we should stand back here and stay out of sight for now, especially with Matilda. And getting Wordstone is probably a luxury. I will still try to grab as much as possible. But this will get messy really soon, I think. So we need to be pretty careful. And we can't really make use of their of them being in the buildings because they're faster than us and they're probably just regrouping at the moment. At least that's what I assume. Maybe with a little bit of luck, Seraphim or Ludmilla can already take a shot at, at something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, we do know where they are. And maybe we want to send Ada over this way, just so that we can maybe sneak around f from the other side and steal the idol. That might be a good idea. I don't know if that will work or not. Or if he should just go for this general direction, then run past someone to do that. But you know what? Let's let's try. We we sh we might as well just start in this direction and see if we can gain any more vision like this. And I need to be careful with the traps. But it looks like we don't get any more vision, but we might be able to steal their idol next turn. Like this. Probably not, I think we will be short one or two strategy points. But if we keep out of sight, and I don't think they have spotted me here, we should be able to steal it. And if I can end this fast, that's definitely something I would be interested in. Oh, hello. So they are right here already. Which makes getting shots off this turn a definite certainty, I should say. Probably. But do I want to fight them out into the out in the open right here? Probably not. At least not if I can avoid it. You know what, let's set up an ambush right here. And we can put Ludmilla into a position where she can take shots already. So who's this? Is one of them one we need to take down? It is not. And let's focus on the henchman here, the verminkin. Uh, yep. So there's that. Oh, really? A 95% miss? Wow. That's unfortunate. And then an impact shot. Okay, so at least we hit once.
Let's see, they do have two... I still don't know, Warp Guard, I think. I always want to say Black Skaven, but I think that's one of the heroes. So we've got the Ashen Sorcerer, we've got... Yep, so we got interrupted looking that. Uh, doesn't matter too much. Oh, hello. So, Warp Guard, yep. So I wasn't completely wrong. I could probably... Yep, why not? There's the ambush. So that basically seals it. We will fight them out here right now. But I hope it will be fine. I mean, we do have some warriors hidden right behind this wall. So that's a definite plus. And maybe... Okay, I can't get her there quite yet. So you know what? What I will do, because I think that might be better, I'm not entirely sure, but I will try, is actually delay. And then we can use the 4 Sigma buff from, uh, from Petra to make sure that maybe we can reach... So let's focus on this, uh, this verminkin. And there's our second one. Let's go for one more. And it's too bad that Lumilla hit if missed her first shot. Otherwise, this guy would most likely be dead already. And can we get into close combat? Apparently we can. So let's do that, even though it's a bit risky. Because we will leave ourselves without an, a dodge stance. Oh, do I want to do this? 50% wrath chance. You know, I don't... Let's just not. And I probably want to use for Sigmar on both of them, even though it means that Petra will lag behind quite a lot. But we probably don't want her in the fight anyways right now. Oh man, she's so slow with that heavy armor. I might want to put her into light armor for the time being. She's just useless to us at like this at the moment well not entirely useless of course but it could be a lot better so we can just take down the verminkin right off the bat so let's do that even though it leaves us without any stances here it's probably still a good idea to do that And then we can ambush, so if that one of the moves into range, we will just charge him. And let's see if my plan worked. Even though the guy is down, we don't need Keita there, right there anymore. If I can get her into range, just so the, she can go for a Sigma's Might, that would be good. And I think what I would like to do then is not ambush, but parry. So we got the... well, we don't exactly have the advantage. Oh, nice, corrosive miasma, but he, apparently he resisted. Yep, he resisted. A new round has started. But we did already take one down, and let's just hope that we can repeat that. Okay, there comes one. Do we get our charge? Not the charge I was <laughs> assuming, but we did get one. <laughs> Oh, wow. What does faint do? What the crap? Oh, wow. So this positioning is a bit of a problem again, but uh, I should be able to disengage there, at least. Hello. 
Let's just see how much I will regret this decision right now. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate that we already got critted again. And this is basically the most dangerous situation right now because most a lot of them go before us. So we need to be pretty careful. But the guy we engaged is one of the ones we need to take down. Please tell me he can't get here. He can't. Okay. So. She is blocking this quite spectacularly. And faint decreases our chance to hit him at all, apparently. So let's just disengage. And... Yeah, let's just dodge right back here, I think. Or a little bit more out in the open so that I have that I definitely have room to, to dodge. Uh, to disengage if he attacks us again. Okay, there's another one. Oh boy. Yep, he's coming for now on dear. Of course. And he goes through the dodge and crits again. Really? It needs to go like this? <laughs> oh boy. So we need to shift our attention over there quite heavily, I feel like. Which might not be a bad idea, but it will leave our novice right here pretty exposed. So, Matilda. It's probably... Yeah, we should just engage here. Can I get a charge off from here? I can, but it's a bad chance. Let's still try, I think. Oh, nice. Ah, but we missed the better one. So at least we've got that going. Yeah, this is not going as I hoped so long uh, as at the time being, but we'll we'll see. We still have Lutmilla and Seraphim that can deal a lot of damage. Okay, Ada. Let's just see if I beeline it for their card. I still won't be able to get it, and there's one guy right there. I assume that still counts as being spotted. I, we probably have to risk this, so let's... Hide ourselves right here. With an ambush stance, just in case we get spotted. And hope that we can... That this guy doesn't run this way. And that we can steal their idol next turn. It's a bit of a risk, but I, I still like it. Okay, and this... We need to survive a few more. Okay, this guy's coming around. Let's see what happens here. Enfeeblement. He's casting. As long as he doesn't attack us, it's okay. I think. But they're critting and keeping on critting. That's a big problem. A really big problem right now. Yeah. This is not good. So when we're right on top of each other, it's just really unfortunate what happens. Let's see, I probably don't even need to move her. So this guy is already... Maybe we can take him down a little bit faster. Or do I just want to aim? 
on the caster. I don't think so. Let's sniper shot that guy. Nice! 115 plus the stun. That's what I'm looking for. And then I have enough to get an aim on the same guy. Oh, wow. That's 200 damage in one round from her. Now that's nice. Where does he go? And why didn't that not trigger the ambush? Really? He can get on there? And he... I call bull crap here. Bullshit, whatever. You, you know what I want to say. Yeah, that's Skaven for you. And Matilda is in a supremely horrible situation right now. Oh boy, yeah, this is not good. So. What do we need to do here? The healing circle does nothing for us. The question is, I think I should go for Sigma's Might here, for those two, before we start moving. And ourselves, of course. Okay, what does the Unearthly Vision do? Oh, we succeeded, uh, the resist here. But who do we attack? Do we go on the caster? I don't think so, because we need someone else on there that deals more damage, I think. And so let's put Keita on this guy. I mean, we won't kill him, but we can at least put a dent in him. And prevent some all-alone checks in the progress. A process. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, Vilda. Vilda needs to block this right now. So let's check their hit points here. We probably need to go on the caster because he's already pretty beat up. Yeah, let's. I think that's our best bet. Matilda is in trouble at the moment, but maybe we can we can help with that soon. I hope so. That's one and a kidney strike. Oh come on. Okay, who's next? Petra who can probably not even reach. Well, with a with a charge, or not even. But do we want her on here? Probably. We don't really have a better action for her. And she does get three attacks. Assuming I'm hitting more than one. Okay. Let's see, let's go one comet on this guy. Thank you. And then we'll put her here. And let's start killing the caster. Oh, I'm unworthy, so no more, sp no more anything for this turn. But that's more time. As per usual, this guy is in an ambush stance, isn't he? Can I see if he's in an ambush stance? Probably, but we will trigger it, I assume. He's not. So let's get Objective that. I, I doubt updated. that it will be of any consequence Objective right now, but completed. we might as well pick it up. 
And I did see something. Can we put her on there? Yes, we can reach. So, hello. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. That was a very much needed crit, I think. A new round has started. So, morale-wise, it's actually okay at the moment. But otherwise, it's still not that nice. We lost one at the moment. It was my own stupidity, I think. Oh, how many attacks does he get? And of course the last one is a crit. Nope, he gets even more. So, yeah. Oh. And that's their second caster. Does he find the one we... Yep, he did. And he charges us. Of course he can charge us. And we don't trigger the ambush. I mean, I will just tr disengage, I think. Yeah, or not. This is just what? Really more time? That's really nice of you. Okay, so stealing the idol is probably out of the question right now. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, Petra is going down really hard. So it probably was not a good idea to go without our impressive. Considering what we have to endure right now. This is not going as I hoped. Yep, that one is coming over here to help. So we will lose her as well. In all likelihood. And another crit. And another crit. Wow. I'm sorry that I'm for once getting really salty at the game. But this is a bit ridiculous at the moment. They're just critting all over the place once again and again, and I just can't do anything. And we're surrounded, and I have to check for all alone, and we will most likely... Oh, wow, I did not fail. I would not have thought it possible. But we're still in a horrible situation right now. And if I'm not careful, this will be a big problem. We have Weeping Poison and more Weeping Poison and all alone. And I can't do anything, so I just can sidestep. I mean, this diverts attention from us, but it's still just horrible. So, who do we take on next here? Probably the Warp Guard, I think. Yeah, probably. But I keep missing with 80% hit chances. Oh boy. Yeah, this could become a very big problem and I am already scared about the consequences of several of ours going down already. So that's a pretty big deal. Okay, the sniper shot is just horrible on that guy. Can I get a better line of sight? I cannot see him at all. I can still not see him at all. But this guy is the next one in line, basically, for us to shoot anyway, so let's do that. But if I can, let's do it from back here. Uh, just because I will be able to reload more. But apparently we won't be able to, so let's just take our two shots. Maybe we get lucky again with a crit? Nope. Yeah, this mission went wrong really quick. Let's see. 
So at least we're dealing good damage and... Oh, he succeeded us all alone. Really? He could have failed one. That would have been nice. There goes the dodge. At least he doesn't get a lot of attacks. So this should just engage us again and we probably need to engage on this guy. Okay, it didn't for some reason, so let's make this a little bit more efficient. And go right here. Come on. And I know that I'm spreading the damage right now a little bit. I hope that it still works out. Because we are in a bit of a tough spot right now and I don't know if a healing circle would be worth it probably not the only ones we can reach are pretty okay health wise so let's just go for Sigma's might and then start attacking this guy oh come on 92% miss and now he parries so this is just going perfectly <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can still win, and at this point in time, I'm not entirely certain about that. So this guy needs to go down, basically. He's already pretty close. So let's do our best here. To make it a certainty... And before I go for another comet, I think I would like to charge and see if we can take him down like that. Thank you. Does he have anything? Oh, he, of course. He was in an ambush. But I do still get a comet, but we'll use it on that guy in the back there. And then I can use the prayer. And dodge. Okay. Um, Tunisia can reach the guy back there. So who do you need to go on? Probably this guy. Or nope, this one. We can get right there and he is pretty beat up as well. And I'm really hoping for some fortunate returns here. And I think I'd rather... Prayer of Swiftness and Dodge than Sidestep. Or no, 85% is pretty good, so the Prayer... I don't know if we can actually get to 100%. I, it would be nice, so that would have would be a, a... Oh, nice. Both sidestep attacks. Uh, both attacks sidestepped. That's what I wanted to say. A new round has started. Oh, he failed us all alone. Thank you. Holy crap. So what's their morale at at the moment? If we can get two more takedowns this turn, things are looking better, but we will lose at least one more this turn. Ada will go down, there's not really a big question about it. That's... yep, there it is. <laughs> but we've got the upper hand on morale. Yeah, my, my plan backfired there pretty spectacularly, and I, I just... From now on, I have to assume that if they spot me, uh, even when I backtrack, they know where I am. So I won't do that anymore. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get any wordstone, I think. But if we win, we will still get uh, some of the wordstone that's on the ground. Maybe I can sneak over there and pick up at least the clusters. We'll see. Oh, really? You jerk. 
If he had gone down, I would have been able to do that. But he did not, so we won't. So even with an aim? Oh, because he used careful approach, really? Wow. So who else do I have vision on? This guy, 95% sniper shot. And reload. It's only 45%, but it won't get better. So let's see, if we hit him, he's down. Okay, we don't. And... Yeah, let's go right here. I mean, we still can take him down, probably. There it is. I could disengage and try to get the word stone. But who's up next? It's not this warp guard, it's this warp guard. You know what, let's let's try. Just because I would like to do that. I hope yep, yeah, we get stuck, so we can't do that, but I can't even attack him and it's too risky to it's too risky to engage on him because if he succeeds his all alone he can attack us so let's delay maybe we can get her out of here in just a moment okay goodbye and now they should be below threshold yep it's not a guarantee but it's a start and let's actually go over there with Kete if we can. She's got a lot of inventory space, so if I can get anywhere near all of that, that would be pretty perfect. Yeah, let's start with the cluster. And let's get as much as possible. And even though it's maybe a little bit shifty, uh, we can move ourselves with the wiggle. A little bit at least. And I'm really counting on the fact that they will fail there all alone. Okay, come on. Yeah, we'll use up the last one here, I think. So we get one more cluster and a shard. And maybe someone else can pick up the cluster and shards over there. So we will most likely win after all. I'm still not really happy with my performance here. It was pretty poor uh, on my end. Could have gone a lot better. But lesson learned, I guess. Um, the Skaven, they're just so fast and I keep underestimating them. Which is not something I should do, but I tend to do anyways. Okay, Vilda um, should engage here, I think. Because this guy will still get his action. And we do want to force an all alone on him. And um, Matilda is up next, and now we should be able to get her out of here. Can we get her into range of the cluster, though? That's the question. Yes, we can. And then we can pick up two more shards. So that still leaves a few shards on the ground, but the amount of wordstone we're getting out of this after all is once again really good. So we should be able to send off the shipment and maybe have something left over to just send off for money. Because I have the sinking feeling that we will need to replace someone soon let's go for we might as well go for that guy I mean he's still up next but we get more attacks on him 
Oh no. Oh really? That just happened. Oh crap. This mission is full of nice surprises. <laughs> oh boy. I'm really nervous about what will come out of this in the end of the mission. I don't like this one bit. I really hope that we don't get another death. That would be just horrible. Luckily we did get the stun, so this guy... Okay, they failed. So we'll, we will now find out what... What the consequences are of this. We lost four. That hasn't happened in quite some time. Oh boy. I don't like this. Strength in steel but it's not really something we can change, so whatever happens, we have to accept it. That wins battles. What's important, or important-ish, is that neither Kete nor Matilda went down, but but Petra did. So at least we we got the quota there. And full recovery on Seraphim. And Petra is dead again. Really? Wow. Like she's cursed or something. That's just horrible. Another one bites the dust. So we get Petra von Schenk the third now? <laughs> Maybe we should think, think about a different name. And Ada is dead as well, so perfect. Oh man. Yeah, that's not nice. But at least we get full recovery on Narondia. And what else? So we've got a formula of archers. A blue flail, a purple greatsword, and a lot of word stones. So we go up from 218 up to 309. Let's pay the warband. And pay treatment. And then we can send off the shipment. So we need a total weight of 276. So this. And that will give us only 828 gold, which is not a lot. Considering what we could get otherwise, but we still need to ship it off. And then we have 33 left. Do I just want to send the surplus there right away? And go for reputation there? You know what, let's... Let's... Dig with this first, and then we can still see how, if we get more. So, 828, wait requested, uh, 276, send shipment. Confirm. And now we can send the rest there as well. Which will not give us a lot. Well, 330 is not nothing, but could be a lot better. So let's not do that yet. Okay, I don't like this. This is just really bad. Uh, this shouldn't have happened. Not like we could have prevented it, maybe, but I don't know. That's just really unfortunate. So what higher swords do we have available right now? I could get another novice, which is probably not a bad idea uh, right now. But we also need a another sister superior, and we could get one of those as well. At rank 5 with a severed leg, so we don't want that. Okay, so either we got death or full recovery. That's just perfect. And let's see. Matilda needs to recover. So this needs to happen, and then this. 
So this is basically our warband. It doesn't get much better than this at the moment. And what we will probably do for now is get the rank 5 novice. Um, because she's there, assuming she has... Nope, she is stupid because of the skull fracture. The burst eardrum is not a problem. But considering that we won't buy anything at the moment, and we, I just have to be pretty careful that I don't lose any more, because this is getting out of hand. And that will lead to two problems really soon so let's advance one day market stock has been replenished what's in the market so we've got a flail of retribution which i will definitely buy because it's a purple weapon and we are not completely Complete. set up on those um i would like to sell the Great sword because we can't use that anyways. And when do we get new hired swords? In two days. So we will wait a few more days. So I'll probably do an easier mission for the next one. Um, just to make sure that we can survive for now. Uh, until I can get a look at new hired swords and replacements. But yeah, this is this was a pretty pretty harsh uh, mission considering the consequences. And now I curse myself for calling it basically and being rewarded doubly at that. So yay me. <laughs> I hope you still enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more and more time, just subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Twitter. My name there is Tharik Rekev as well. So, as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.